We are recording. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick save. Look, Birdie's all wet. Hey, Birdie, Let's you get wet just looking. Get off the boat. Tris? Hey, Tris. All right, lead the way, Tris. I'm following you. So I'm gonna get my memory back, huh? Turned his nose up, eh? Ha! You think he was faultist himself? Now we're going to be going out into the woods, which means it's going to be, okay, I'm going through with you. Wow, that was like right in my face. Alright, it's going to be silver sword time. Come on! Oh wow, I didn't even realize there was a monster out there. I actually just drew my sword because... And she's running ahead and getting into a fight when I want to stop the move. Taking on the elf with the silver sword. Got a loose song. Okay, it's a trap. Alright, what the hell is that? Okay, let's go ahead and do uh Man, there's a lot of monsters out. Pretty much just following Trish. Here we go. Can I loot? Can I have? Where'd Triss go? Alright, which way are we going, Triss? Some kind of mon- Really, with the trap? Well, I can grab all the traps now because I don't have, uh... I don't actually have, uh, a weight there anymore. Alright, I'm just going. Let's just do this. Oh, Limit, but thanks to the mod that I downloaded. Okay, let's go. Okay, here's another one. Alright, she's going in. She's doing more, a little more. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Now what? <sighs> I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Rose of Remembrance. So it's uh, the path leading upwards. <laughs> the hell is that? I'll collect a trap. Legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. Oh, 
All right, looks like I'm the going up here. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cimarron. Cedric said Cimarron eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. And that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my. Lovers. Look at it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The woman... Triss. Cymoral's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. Okay. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs. The heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Yeah, you're about to die. And Kill them! Slay the freaks! Watch out! Oh. Ah. Okay, well that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Okay. Cast the art sign? Why? Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? <laughs> oh, you know, stuff. You could use a bath. So could you.
two. A witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeril, as they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Enshe remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted within these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. Bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Well, I'm buggered. You're not the one who's buggered, dude. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm-hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morn. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind? Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach, intending to our own matters? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled, and as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Alright, there's a lot going on here. There's loot to be had. Who's the fuck? Did you just... There you are. Is everything alright? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoia'tael are out in droves. 
Okay, well, okay. I guess we're getting out of here, but not before I make sure that there's nothing else down here for me to loot. Okay, we're having that. Ooh, no, we're having that too. Whatever that was, we're having that. Guess we're going this way. Okay, now there's bodies. I bodied some fools. I'll take the loot. <coughs> if you'll excuse me for sneezing. Um, talk to Zoltan about the Scoyatel. Okay, well, we will, we will do that when we get back to town. Now, it's kind of, okay, it is showing me where to go. It just hadn't separated out the locations. That's perfectly fine. Alright, so it's back towards town. Okay, okay, I got a little bit of that. Damn you, I've got a few of these things coming up. Is that a square tail? Yep, that is. That is. That was unnecessary. I wasn't trying to kill you guys. Like, I totally did not attack you. You would have been absolutely fine if you had just left me alone. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab... At this point I'm gonna be taking the traps now that I have unlimited carrying capacity. And whatever the hell this thing is. Is that another trap? Yes, it is. Ha! Come on. Alright, let's go. Let's head back towards town. Oh. I do need at some point, I need to stop. What was that? Oh, it's a trap. So I'm just gonna go to the town, the little town, because that's the fastest way to get. That little, that other town, the, uh, the outskirts town, is, is the fastest way to get inside. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Alright. Man, they need to do something about these bodies just hanging here. This is like not cool. You'll be watching, we chat. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Alright, so, we're gonna go in here. 
And we're gonna talk to Zoltan. Is that Triss? Yeah. This is my table. This is my friend's table. I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? Heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order in a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke the Rido. But his Scoyatel might have a different opinion, and less restraint. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes, and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like Dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You could also look in on some merchants. I don't think Loredo's robbed them of everything yet. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Sheila de Tanzerville. Requires precision, but it's well paid work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament to those sorceresses, I'm telling you. Any news? Triss has sniffed something out. Apparently there are prisoners on the barge in the port. Squirrels, no less. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. You heard? Meaning some goat's arse in a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorveth. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoyatel. And Yorveth detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Alright, well I guess I'm following Zoltan. Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyatel? Lorito. What a prick. That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say Yorveth's mad, but the Scoyatel are at his beck and call. Sod knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido's the bigger prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's what he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! King Hensel would gladly annex more land and grant Lorido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go. Alright, well... Seeing indicators of something nasty, but whatever. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Zoltan? All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command a unit. No wonder Lorita wanted you hanged. Uh, they may have asked, but I didn't expect. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Here, Kegald! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorveth. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. 
Yorveth won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One sick or on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorveth. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorveth know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. I know what those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. What are you talking about? That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. Okay. Why did the music kick up? Move, dude. Come on, man, move. We're here. That creature crawls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorveth. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? Alright, well, I gotta go in there and face that creature. But... That will be a story for another day. I will thank you now for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.